up everybody? It's Better the Beast here, again with another Serenus Forest Gaming Challenge. This one is Kirby Superstar for the Super NES, doing the arena as fast as I can. For those of you who aren't familiar with the Kirby series, the arena is pretty much the boss rush mode. So you just go through each boss. In between you'll have an area where you can get a health item. You have up to five you can use in this one that heal you fully and you have two randomized power-ups that you can choose from in that area and you get to see what the next boss is so you can sort of mentally prepare yourself and you get to choose any power you want in the beginning which is really really nice so you don't have to depend on the RNG I've already completed this run so this is a recording I'm just doing commentary on the recording because the recording software is a little finicky with this emulator so I decided not to risk it, so I did, I did a, a recording on the emulator and then did commentary on that recording. So it allowed me to focus more on the game while I was playing, since this game is actually, or the arena here is pretty difficult. The bosses in general have more damage per hit than other Kirby games, so it's much easier to die. And the game is also, like, less polished. You can't, you can't, like, short hop, for instance. You can only full jump in this game, and some of the attacks work differently than the newer Kirby games that I'm used to. But with all that underway, let's just get to it. So yeah, here it is, the arena. And I'm going to pick up my favorite weapon throughout the entire series, Hammer. It's been my favorite since Adventure. And it just so happens to be the best weapon for going fast. Now the first boss is arguably the hardest with Hammer. It's either this or the final one. But airborne enemies and Hammer just don't get along. The Hammer's strongest attack can only be used on the ground, so... Yeah. And the Hammer is also kind of a high-risk, high-reward weapon. You have to be up close to do all of your damage. Safe, like, compared to, say, like, Plasma, which can do all of its weapon damage from far away. And do significant smacks at that. But that went pretty... Decently, I guess. Then I only screwed up an input in one place, but whatever. So in this one, I make a helper outside of the area to save time because this guy is a tank. Like, if you don't do that specifically, he can tank your hits for quite a long time. He can tank like four of Hammer's most powerful attack, which you will see on DDD. That attack. Now DDD will always charge you after you hit him first, but three of those will take him down as long as you don't lose your power. If you lose your power, it becomes a little more hectic and he's much harder to predict. And this is my favorite strat of them all. So you tank this hit while hitting them and then charge the attack, or charge the hammer flip right behind them. I'll explain hammer flip once I get more time. Right now all these bosses are kind of going too fast so I can't explain what the attack is. But yeah, that was kind of perfect RNG. Sometimes they'll carry along a Gordo, and if they do that, you can't just stand there and take it. You have to be a little more creative, but I didn't have to do that. And, you know, I, I tried to do some kind of cool thing by killing the cannonball and jumping up there at the same time, but it didn't work, so I just used the invincibility anyway and just got up there. Now, Heavy Lobster is always going to go forward, so I just dash attack through him and do three hammer flips right here. Sometimes he can be random, but if you do it like that, then a lot of randomness th is thrown out of the equation. So Meta Knight is a, is a boss who generally gives you the sword power to use, but in Kirby Superstar you can just toss it because sword is kind of trash, and fuck chivalry. Hammers are where it's at. You get a free hammer flip there. I don't know why I, don't know why I thought I could hit one there, but there's one guaranteed here. I just had a lapse of judgment earlier, sort of like a panicked reaction. You can do a lot of damage to Meta Knight if you just if he tanks all the hits of your dash attack. Otherwise, he kind of likes to back off and be unpredictable because sometimes he'll just dash in immediately before he can react and smack you in the face. Okay, so this boss is sort of self-explanatory. Just have the lasers hit the core, so I'll use this time to explain Hammer Flip. When you press up and attack with Hammer. Kirby will kind of sit there and charge the hammer before doing a really powerful swing. The swing only hits like right in front of Kirby, so you have to you have to know the bosses in and out. 
I played this game a but uh, like a fuck ton of times, so I know the bosses really well. And while he's charging, the hammer is a, is like a very very weak hitbox, like you saw on the combo cannon. I was hitting it multiple times with the charging animation, and it can only be used on the ground. It tears apart mini bosses, like you'll see here. Each one of them is one shot or two shot by this, or like you know one shot and then. Or you hit him with the flip once, and then you hit him with like standard attacks afterwards. Most of the mini bosses can just be killed immediately like that, except for this one. This one will always do something right after you hit him with a hammer flip. So I just dash attack through him, dude, just in case he does something. Cause oh yeah, dash attack is completely invulnerable. I completely forgot to mention that last time I last time I used dash attack. Now wispy here, it's hard as always. Now I have to wait a little bit on that last hammer hit because his iframes are kind of weird. You can't just like mash him out. Like when he gets hit by anything, you have to wait a little bit before hitting him again. It's really weird and no other boss is like that. Now <laughs> I'm not proud of my performance here. If I did it perfectly, it would be over maybe not here, but it would definitely be over here. But I fucked up either my timing or my spacing and I just have to eat these rocks. And I definitely do eat these rocks. I come pretty close to dying. <laughs> but just some dash attacks to secure this fight. It went pretty badly, but every other fight has gone swimmingly, so I really don't care too much. And I can just grab a maximum tomato. I got three left with eight, eight boss fights, so things are looking good. It's a guaranteed hammer flip right there. Dash attack no matter what he does, cause just eat through with invincibility and just smack him one more time. Easy peasy. He'll always do attacks on the ground before going up and you can just react. Now here's two wispies, They're twice as hard as a single wispy. Sometimes he'll do those gusts low and you have to do like a slide, which you'll see I kind of stopped a little bit to see if he could do that and I did could do like some kind of super cool split second reaction, but it wasn't needed. Now Krakow's another airborne boss, which means Hammer has a little bit of a tough time with it. But he'll always do this attack, which is a time waster. And I mean, it just gives you a lot of opportunities to hit him. There's not really you can, much you can do to screw that fight up. Nor is there much randomness. Some more mini bosses that'll go down. Easy peasy. Hammer's totally balanced, and you have to hit this one, like, right as it lands, otherwise he'll start moving backwards and forwards, and it's just a pain in the ass. Fortunately, he dies in one hammer flip, so it's not so bad. Now, Nova, uh, <laughs> I probably shouldn't, shouldn't have done what I did in this kind of setting, but, you know, fuck it, I wanted to go as fast as possible. Which, granted, some of my strats may not be optimal, but fuck it. A lot of them were made up on the spot. Not really on the spot, but like on the spot with my prior knowledge. So the game expects you to keep killing them, but if you skip two of them, then you don't have to go back through all of them. Like, you don't have to go through a bunch of these. And I kind of panicked and took that hit. Fortunately, it didn't kill me. It came very close, but it didn't kill me. And that's what matters. Alright, this boss coming up is one of Hammer's easiest and where it makes up a lot of time. Or not a lot of time, that's probably exaggerating, but whatever. You get to see Hammer's insane damage output on this boss. Because Hammer is the um, the solo up with the highest DPS. The helper TAC and the wheelie rider with two players can out damage Hammer, but just by itself, Hammer is the absolute best. And that guy gave me the best pattern possible. Like, that was just the best RNG you could get. I attack first, hit him with a hammer flip, then he does nothing the next turn pretty much, and I smack him in the face. And then Red Dragon's just as easy. Pretty much block everything and hit him with hammer flips when they stop being invulnerable. Or whenever it's your turn to attack, because it's an RPG battle. Now here's Fatty Whale. Fatty Whale's kind of an asshole at times. Sometimes you can just waste your time with this move. And it's the worst. And this is also kind of a time waster, but you can follow him with these air hammers. I missed that one barely. And I thought I could go through him with the entire invincibility, but 
I guess you can't. So, joke's on me. I was just panic hammer spinning because I saw him appear and I was like, oh shit, what is he going to do? I need to do invincibility through this. Now, I barely missed that and that made me really salty, but I already covered it by dash attacking him and just killing him because it does insane damage if you hit with it, like every hit with it. About as much as a hammer flip, I'd say, but because of all the hits, wasting a bunch of frames, it takes longer. And here's another airborne boss, boss this is Karl Marx, the final boss of Kirby. And he's kind of an asshole. I wanted to run in and hit him with a hammer flip, but I got too close. I got, I don't know if it was too greedy or whatnot, but it was just bad positioning. My whole Marx fight is just fucking sloppy. I am not proud of this performance at all. I figured that I could hit him, but I guess his hurt box was bigger than I expected it to be. For some reason I can't hit him with the hammer jump, or hammers there, and I thought I could just invincibility through that, but you can't. So whatever. And here he just kind of sits there and just lets me wail on him, so that's, that's a victory for me. And there we go, 6 minutes, 8 seconds, and 5, whatever those are, milliseconds? Fuck if I know. But that was my arena run, it's pretty solid I'd say. My marks in Fatty Whale and Bam Bam fights were pretty terrible, but every other fight went almost perfectly. But that'll be it for this. Hope you all enjoyed and hope you learned a little bit about tryharding the Kirby Superstar Arena mode if you ever want to give it a shot with Hammer. It's pretty fun. It takes a lot of learning, like, I might have made it look easy, but it's def you definitely have to go through a lot before you can do shit like that. Like, yeah, I only got two practice runs on this whole thing, because th those are the rules, but I've played this game a lot as a kid. Like, a lot as a kid. I think my best run of the arena was like 5 minutes and 30 seconds or something. And I've done- I haven't done anything better than that, and that's been like 10 years ago at the very least. No, more than 10 years. But enough- enough about that shit. I'll just- that's- I'll just end the video on that. See you next time.